Assalamualaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, we're going to be making DIY slime, the ooey gooey zombie slime. So let's get started. I'll be using this as a substitute for food color. Okay, green ooze. Now, this does not have glue in it. There's no PVA in it. How it sticks is you're supposed to put it on for the special effects, let it dry, and then layer it to give you that 3D look. Remove this by using water, so we cannot use water in this particular slime making. It's written here, zombie green ooze. I use the whole tube of the zombie green ooze for coloring. Slime can be made with pretty much anything that contains the ingredient PVA. In this case, it's polyvinyl alcohol. I have added some peel off mask cucumber because it's light green. Most glues have PVA in it and that is the exact ingredient that bonds with activator to create slime. This slime recipe calls for the use of peel off face mask. Yes, that's what I'm using. As long as it contains PVA, it should work. Add the activator of your choice. So for my activator, I am using liquid Tide. Slowly add your activator a little bit at a time, mixing after each addition until the slime starts to form. Pull away from your bowl and it's no longer sticky. It's better if you dilute the liquid tide so you don't end up putting too much and it becomes a huge clumpy mess. This zombie slime turned out great. What is the science behind slime making? The borate ions in the slime activators mixed with the PVA polyvinyl acetate glue and forms this cool stretchy substance. This is called cross-linking. The glue is a polymer and is made up of long, repeating and identical strands or molecules. These molecules will flow past one another, keeping the glue in a liquid state until you add the borate ions to the mixture. And it turns then starts to connect these long strands together. They begin to tangle and mix until the substance is less like the liquid you started with and thicker and rubberier like slime. Rubberier? Slime is a polymer. As you can see, the slime has turned out really well. The zombie green ooze does not stain skin. If you have used food colors, we know that food colors really do tend to stain skin. This makes the zombie green ooze a great substitute for food colors. Knead the slime until it reaches your preferred consistency. You can use your hands to squish and push down on the slime mixture repeatedly. Keep kneading the slime for several minutes until the consistency is exactly how you want it. The slime will have a few air bubbles in at this point, which is totally normal, no need to freak out. And look how glossy it is. Very stretchy. Ah, zombie slime is ready. It's zombified my hands. Okay, let's see if it produces good poking sounds. Look what I found. These are, these are super cute. Aren't these cute? My favorite one is this one. I'll show you up close. I'm gonna take this top part out. Now this zombie is wearing a tailcoat pinstripe suit. It looks so fashionable. Scary, but fashionable. Looking very sharp. This is the skeleton one. Ew, creepy. Wee, wee, wee. And th now this zombie is kind of wearing a steampunk Victorian swallowtail long trench coat jacket. It looks awesome. Poking sounds. Let's place our first fashionable zombie in the slime. Then with the skeleton zombie. Ooh. Now our last fashionable pinstripe tail coated zombie goes in. Butt of Corpse. It's the grossest, gunkiest, ooziest monster slime around. Designed to bring a sense of frightening fun to any collection, the zombie slime with charms are sure to impress. This slippery and slime-tastic goo features a super creepy embedded zombie in it. 
Great for squishing, stretching, shaping, and even splatting. This batch of slime is sure to become a new freaky favorite as you watch it ooze through your fingers. And we're done. So if one really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do. But I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.